not all books you're going to have the Pearl of Great Price in it. Okay. This is the introduction to the Pearl of Great Price. The Pearl of Great Price is a selection of choice materials touching many significant aspects of the faith and the doctrine of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. You guys know saints are living people, right? Martyrs or saints are alive. When Paul was speaking to the saints in Ephesus, he was addressing the Okay. So anyway, uh, these items were produced by the prophet Joseph Smith and were published in the church periodicals of his day. The first collection of materials carrying the title Pearl of Great Price was made in 1851 by Elder Franklin D. Richards, then a member of the Council of the Twelve and president of the British Mission. I just heard a book I was reading for pioneers by James Samuel Cooper, the English novel, that the Europeans are Christians. Anyway, uh, its purpose was to make more readily accessible some important articles that had limited circulation in the time of Joseph Smith. As church membership increased throughout Europe and America, there was a need to make these items available. The Pearl of Great Price received wide use and subsequently became a standard work of the church by action of the First Presidency and the General Conference in Salt Lake City on October 10, 1880. Several revisions have been made in the context as the needs of the church have required. Several revisions made in the context as the needs of the church have required. In 1878, portions of the Book of Moses, not contained in the first edition, were added. In 1902, certain parts of the Pearl of Great Price that duplicated material also published in the Doctrine of Co Covenants was omitted. Arrangements in the chapters and verses and footnotes were done in 1902. First publication in double column, pages of index in 1921. No other changes were made until April 17. I'm sorry, April 1976, when two items of revelation were added. In 1979, these two items were removed from the Pearl of Great Christ and placed into the Doctrine of Covenants where they now appear as sections 137 and 138. In the present edition, some changes have been made to bring the text into conformity with earlier documents. The following is a brief introduction of the present contents of the Pearl of Great Price. Selections from the Book of Moses, which is an extract from the Book of Genesis, Joseph Smith's translation, which he began June 1830. The Book of Abraham, uh, translation from Egyptian papyri, papyri, that came into the hands of Joseph Smith in 1835, containing the writings of the patriarch Abraham. Translation was published in the Times and Seasons in 1842 in Navu, Navabu, Illinois. There's also a uh, Joseph Smith interpretation of Matthew is an extract of the testimony of Matthew. Doctrine and Covenants 45, 60 to 61, divine injunction to begin the translation of the New Testament. Joseph Smith history, excerpts from Joseph Smith's official testimony, which he prepared in 1838, which was published Serially in Times and Seasons in Navajo, Illinois, beginning in 1832. It also contains the Articles of Faith of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, a statement by Joseph Smith, published in the Times and Seasons in 1842, in company with a short history of the Church that was popularly known as the Went or Letter. This is Lulu, and it has a uh, Disney one. A Disney, Disney character on that? I think one of this. Okay. I'm going to get out and enjoy these seasonable weather.